Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today is a nice bigger build. We've not done one for a little while. It's the Evil Dead cabin enclosure. Um, we've had a couple of bits of ups and downs with this one. Um, originally the enclosure was going to be built and sold off for auction. But uh, as you'll see in the video, things didn't quite go to plan with this one. But um, fortunately, we will be building it again to be auctioned off, uh, but this one won't be, uh, as you'll soon find out. Hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Thank you very much. So, guys, we uh, mounted the Evil Dead cabin on some ply board, fitted to the back of the enclosure. It's just hot glued on. Also, we just added some branches. And now we're going to mask it all up, ready for um, expanding foam spraying. This stops the uh, expanding foam getting over anything that you don't want it to get over. Just gave it a good liberal spray all the way around. Don't be scared. And then after that, it's carving time, which is the fun bit. Just hack away. I just wanted it a nice, simple, round sort of background. Um, we're going to go cocoa fibre on this. So now we're coming to the end and we should be getting back to me right about now. So guys, we've mounted the cabin and some branches coming out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to cover it in this stuff, which is HA6 marine grade silicon in black use black because it shows up less lightly than the other stuff um, it cover the um, expanding foam better but you have to make sure it's aquarium safe which means it's safe for teas now I'm quite lucky today because we're outside so um, we can leave it to air out outside today because it doesn't look like rain because this stuff pen and inks and it gets messy you need gloves sealant and uh, if you mask it off if you're doing one of these and you don't want to get it like everywhere on your glass and stuff because this is a nightmare to get off um just mask up anywhere that you might get over spill so I've marked up everywhere next thing now is just to add all the silicon now as it goes down the back and we've got quite narrow gaps we're gonna actually start from the bottom first and then work our way up that way I'm not putting my hands through loads and loads of sealant and get myself covered but it's gonna be messy so here we go Coloured, covered even. Done managed to do that in one tube, so that's pretty good. Now what we've got here is bone dry substrate, absolutely dry as it. You don't want it wet because then it won't stick. So now we're just gonna get some and just push it in all over. But it's probably another messy job. So let's just get down to it. Right, obviously I mounted the uh, hide. Stupid gardeners in the allotments over the back. I mounted the hide higher 
so because it's got a gap in the back they can burrow down into substrate right yeah i think that's looking all right now what we're going to do we're going to just leave it to cure now and then come back and finish it off obviously we've um, cleaned it off all the sides and stuff make sure i ain't got no um sealant anywhere yeah it's looking all right so we had a bit of a disaster this bit's cracked all the way along here so i've got an idea and what we're going to do we're going to run silicone all along here and carry the cork fiber right up until this edge and this edge here yeah and then on the outside obviously we're, we're going to put some black vinyl now this sort of stops me auctioning this one off because i wouldn't be comfortable selling a uh, well, auction and offer a tank that's got a crack in it, but we might be able to save the build. So, fingers crossed, this goes all right. Now press cocoa fibre into it so it's just going to go all the way round as one solid cocoa fibre wall now. So guys, we went until it was all cured. We added some black plants, moss. Good uh, thing is to wait until everything's totally stink free. So I've left it, we had some pretty good weather, so I left it outside for a couple of days. But we're gonna put the spider in, which is Brachypalma bohemi which is a bit of a hair kicker. So, we're gonna put her hair in to her new home and see if we can She is in. Right. So there we go, guys. All done. She's disappeared into her hide in there. But I'm quite happy with the way that one stand out. It's quite effective. I think changing the colour of the plants, they were green originally was better, it's giving it that more dark, eerie feel. So I hope you like that one guys, um, it turned out pretty well in the end. Um, I, as you can see, I wouldn't be comfortable um, auctioning that one off when it's been damaged. Um, but the Tarantula Room have very kindly said that they'll be donating another one to be auctioned off which we will do the build again 
Um, I probably won't do a video on it. Um, I'll probably just do an update and uh, show the finished build ready for auction. But um, yeah, we'll be doing it again. But um, from this time, uh, we've got the spider in. Everything's all ticket to go. I'm quite happy with the build. A um, couple of little bits I might tweak actually for the, the one we're going to auction off. Um, I've already built the little cabin bit. If you want to see how I sort of did that one, there's the Evil Dead Cabin video, um, which is a separate video altogether. Have a look through my videos. You'll be able to find that one. Also, if you want to any other ideas to build any of this lot, they're all on there. Um, I tried to do it as easy and as detailed as possible on every single one of these builds. So you guys at home can maybe maybe try one of the big ones or actually just use a little bit of that idea for one of your own builds anyway thank you very much for watching guys as always it's been a pleasure thumbs it up comment down below hit that subscribe button and the bell doo -doo -doo, and i shall see you later